standing by out in Pontchartrain. Udo Kalsa, thank you very much for joining us once again on SABC News Channel. It's always a pleasure having you here, Udo. It's day two of the SA Nationals. It's a rep from Pontchartrain. They called it, they asked to fill up Poch. It was filled up, and you were happy all around. Udo, can you hear me? I'm going to try and speak to Udo again. Udo Kalsa, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but uh, I was just saying that it's day two of the Nationals. Hopefully you can hear me now. It's day two of the Nationals. They came to an end a short while ago, earlier this evening. The, all the athletes were asking to fill up punch. The fans came out to their numbers, excitement all around. We nearly saw a record being broken today in the men's 200. It's been an exceptional day of athletics. Well, Dabi, so thank you very much for joining us here at Portion Strom. I've got to say, just before you came to us, uh, the power's been cut here. So uh, if we come and go during this broadcast, I'll tell you this much. It's been a splendid day two out in Portion Strom of the uh, SA Senior Track and Field Championships under the auspices of Athletic South Africa. Now, we spoke prodigiously yesterday about the 100 meters and just the impact that it's had on uh, the sense of fascination around South African athletics in the year 2017. We came back on day two anticipating, hoping for a thrilling 200 meter finals in both the women's and men's race and of course the men's race was always going to deliver but on day one Alyssa Connolly of course doubled up in the 100 meters uh, retaining her title there the big question though going into day two knowing that she told us that she was suffering from a little bit of flu on Thursday and Friday was whether she could do it and double up in the 200 as well and this is how that race went down 200 meters final for women on the track now and the defending champion Alyssa Conley going in lane four but on her outside maybe a surprise package in this final Wenda Nell the 400 meter hurdles champion and she was excellent in the semi-finals 23.4 she ran there and could perhaps cause an upset here over that woman Alyssa Conley defending champion she successfully defended a 100 meter title and here she wants to make it a double double at these championships athletes going down to their blocks on the outside there as well in lane six Tamsin Thomas in the blue of Western Province inside in lane three Nabila Parker but the crowd looking forward to these long sprints we've seen some great short sprints in the hundreds and here Alyssa Conley trying to make it two out of two another great start by Conley she's been so impressive but look at Nell go as well she's already on the shoulder of Thames and Thomas it's Wenda Nell and Alyssa Conley Conley is running well here she's coming out of the straight way ahead of Alyssa Nell this is very very fast Wenda Nell rather Alyssa Conley running so well and she's going away with this and Thames and Thomas coming through Alyssa Conley 22.95 for her she wanted to go sub 23 and she surely delivered here Wow, what a spectacular performance by Alyssa Conley. From the start, you know, she was all focused. You know, she had a mean, that poker face. And she stormed out of the bend. And the uh, old teacher used to tell me, the winner, the athlete who wins the bend, wins the race. And here it is, Alyssa Conley. And also a brave run by Tamsin Thomas in the colors of Western Province Athletics. Well, I must admit to being slightly surprised there. Alyssa Conley held it together and saw off the threat of Wenda Nell and a very very fast finishing Tams and Thomas great run by the defending champion well Alyssa Conley does the double double the 100 and the 200 for two years in a row she takes the gold in 22.94 seconds Tams and Thomas a great silver medal for her ahead of Wenda Nell and we move on now to the drama, of course, of day one, which ended with Anasul Jobodwana withdrawing from the 100-meter final because he was feeling a little bit cramped up in really cool conditions. Uh, conditions pretty much uh, to watch, which we have become accustomed to this evening. Now, he arrived here and uh, was in the training ground, but uh, went to the medical facilities and uh, said, listen, the cramp is still there. There's simply no way that I, uh, that I can run. The rules would not have allowed him to run either, uh, having withdrawn from the race last night. So he was obviously uh, absent from the 200-meter finals as the 
national record holder, but that bromance we keep talking about, Akani Simbine and uh, Wade van Nikak certainly delivered some thrills and spills. And uh, let's have a look now at uh, the highlights from the 200 meter final. Look out for none other than, they know him on Twitter as at Wade Dreamer. The dream keeps on giving. And again, the tension builds in Potchefstroom for this men's 200 meter final. The athletes walking to their blocks for the second time. Kolo Adams in lane one, false starting. He's out of this. But of course, two men that we talk about in this race. One of them is that man, Wade Fanikark, world champion, Olympic champion, world record holder in the 400. And in trying to attempt the double at the world championships this year against one of his best friends here today. Akani Sambine, Olympic finalist in the 100. Here they are in the 200. Sambine is stumbling there at the start and it's Wade Panika out. Look at Panika go. Akani Sambine will be chasing him. Panika in seven and Sambine in four. They're running very well. So is Kip Kleo Kleda. Kip Kleo Kleda is coming through. Wade Panika running away with this one. Panika going. Sambine chasing. Kleo Kleda. Wade Panika 19.90 seconds. So that South African record of 19.87 of Anaso Dobodwana. What a run. What a run. And that is the reason why he had approached the IWF to change the, the, uh, the schedule so he can do two and four. I wonder if he had gone through the line, we would have seen a new South African record here. But what a run by Wade. Shutting it down almost 50 meters before the line. And the clock stops at 99.0. Well, I must say, I predicted a South African record for Wade Fanika, and I'm really upset with him for not running through the line. But what a great run by the great man. And he is on track to do that 200, 400 double at the World Championships later this year in London. He's just taken the first massive step to that goal. The crowd here in Potchefstroom know that they've seen something amazing. These two men, Wade Fanika, Akani Simbine, have given them such a show over this weekend. Simbine took the 100 meter crown. Fanika gets his revenge in the 200 meters. And the whole Philip Potch campaign was all about those two men in picture. Wade Fanika, Akani Simbine. What about Gift Leo Klela there coming through for a great bronze medal as well? And Clarence Mooney, our defending champion, completing the picture. Again, we look at them coming down this home straight. Look at Fanikak out on the left. So relaxed. Long strides. Nice high knee lift. And at this time, he knows he has it. Checks out the clock and sees a personal best of 19.90. will probably get rounded down to a 19.89 or something like that. It'll be even faster. But Fanikak acknowledges the capacity crowd here in Potchefstroom who came out to support him. What a great moment for everybody concerned. Well, the excitement around this 200 ended up in Wade van Nikar getting a gold medal in 19.90 seconds. A personal best for him. His friend Akani Sambine finishes second in a silver medal, 20.15 for him. Perhaps not what he wanted. And Gift Liu Klela edges out Clarence Munyai for that bronze in 20.20. Now that race, of course, is going to live on in folklore in South African athletics for many years to come. And let me just put it into context. It's the fastest time run in South Africa by a South African, uh, of course, in the 200 meters. We've got the uh, national record still of Anaso Jobodwana at 1987. And then, of course, uh, two faster times than that was uh, run by Sean Crawford in 2002 at 19.85. That was in Pretoria. And then two years prior to that was Michael Johnson running a 19.71 in Petersburg. Now, I told you at the beginning, Tabi, saw that uh, somebody unknowingly uh, pulled a cable. And unfortunately, it is that cable that allows me to hear you. So we can't have a conversation about this. But let me preempt. I I know you're going to ask me about the fact that he slowed down towards the finish line there. I spoke to my learned colleagues out on the track here and said if he had gone full steam at the speed that he was running, just what sort of time would he have run? And uh, by and large, most people were saying that he could have shaved about 0.03 seconds off that time if he was going full speed, which of course means that he would have equaled the record, the national record set by Akani Simbine, but a fantastic run either way. And now we know why the IAAF has decided to change their schedule to allow the 400 meter world record all the way for Nikak to compete 
on an even uh, ground in both the 200 and 400 meters in London a little bit later this year. The big story, of course, coming into these games, as far as world record proportions are concerned, was around none other than Luvo Anyonga. He came here, and uh, all the chatter around the back rooms, of course, was that uh, his agent was talking up a potential world record jump right here in Portschiffstrom. So the young man, out of 27 jumpers, it was a long list of jumpers in the final today, jumped as the last man with, of course, the best distance in South Africa, bar none in the last year, uh, having uh, broken that national record already, in his very first jump. This is what Luvo Manyonga did. Olympische silver medaille van verleden jaar. Spok reeds hier die seizoen met de beste van 8,62 meter. Nummer 1 op die Idebelaif, zijn wereldranglijst. Wat gaan ons vandaag hier zien? Hier in die denlig van Potjekstroom. Gaan ons hier een sprong van. Cornelius daar van Pretoria. Nu we in die kleren van Atletiek Goud. van die skare sy aanmoediging. Eerste competitie, terug. Na stressfraktuur, man het oor baie spoed en veerkracht beskik. En hier vir verrassing nog steeds kan sorg. En hier ek self na baie goeie sprong, baie na weer in die 8 meter. Jong wat leed wat lis is vir spring, lis is vir deelname. En hy goeie aftrap, kry ons gelooflik baie hoogte van die plank af, weet nou wat voor toe kom. Sprong, 8,03 meter, sy eerste sprong in die seisoen oor die 8 meter. Sark Visser is terug. Razzel Samai, Vrij Skare, sy aanmoediging. Die laaste rond hier, die verspring van Mans. Silvermedalje is reeds syne. Sal natuurlijk een groot sprong hier moet uithaal, as hy die gouwe wil vat. 8,65, nieuwe nationale rekord van Luwe Manjonga. En dis Razzel Samai op die aanloop. Gaan ons hier weer een sprong oor die 8 meter sien. Goeie reeks van hier die atleet. Het hy die laas toelag hier in die verspring vir Mans. Ons wacht vir die afstand. Dit is een van die beste afstande in Suid-Afrikaanse verspring. Geskietnis. Hy sê dankie. Hier is een groot sprong. Wacht vir die afstand. persoonlijke beste, hier is een van die beste verspring competities wat nog op Zuid-Afrikaanse woorde plaas gevind het Luwe Mayonga wat hier gekroon word, as die nieuwe Zuid-Afrikaanse kampioen, die verspring vir mans met die nieuwe Afrika rekord 8,65 meter, met Raswal Samai 8,49 en Zark Visser 8,03 onderscheidelik in die solver en in die brons medaille plekke so credit to Fisser and Samai there for the uh, bronze and silver medals respectively. But can you imagine what would have happened if Luvo Manyonga had been around for all six rounds? Sadly, a groin injury put pay to his efforts and he pulled out after the first round. But he did say to us afterwards that he feels that world record is well within reach. It's going to happen sometime in 2017. Now, speaking of world records, uh, a woman who is well on her way to doing that in 2017 as well is our very own Kasta Mokharis Semenya. Now, she comes in 
to this national championships, having won the 15, the 400, and the 800 in Stellenbosch a year ago, and of course came into the 800, have already double, doubling up in a 400 meter uh, efforts with a gold medal there. How would she go in the 800 meters? 800 meters for women final and the double olympic champion world champion south african record holder what else can you say about this woman costa semenya is in the field and taking the lead from the front you can also see there jenna lostrand anushka nice the other favorites in this race and when i say favorites i mean people racing for a silver medal geraldine that is correct it is it is actually so surprising to see costa actually in the lead pushing more only would like to run from the back and only around the last 200 meters she would strike but the Custis Amenio also known as Cobra she's taking the lead and hopefully she's going to go for the first time well it's good to see Anishka Nice and Jenna Lostrand going with her which is a thing we don't see often in South African athletics Custis Amenio running the pace here the other two ladies who's had an epic tussle throughout the season it has Lostrand and Nice trading wins between the two of them right on the shoulder of Casa Semenya, 60 seconds for the first lap, that is not slow, not too fast either, Semenya is used to going a bit faster than that, but I must tell you for Lofstrand and Nice behind her, this is a blistering pace and they are keeping it up, which makes me wonder if they have some sort of agreement with Casa Semenya to act as not only the winner but a pacemaker in this race. You never know anything is, is, is possible but that is, it's, it's a beautiful picture out there and uh, they are entering now into the final 200 meter and it's still Custer and uh, we see Jenna Lostrand there closely about a stride or two behind Custer but now she is opening she's opening up and uh, she's going to dig deep into that 400 meter kind of flat speed that she has to, to get rid of the two ladies behind her. Well the one thing I've always liked about Jenna Lostrand is that she has guts and she's just playing in here. Might be too much for the crowd appreciating Custer Semenya as Semenya is going away from Lostrand at the moment and we look at the time there for Casimir, 201.04, that's great for her, Lofstrand finishes second, nice third, great run by the two of them as well, but there was never any doubt about the winner, Casta Semenya taking the national title, in fact defending her national title along with the 400 meter title she won earlier. Yes, Casta Semenya there in your picture now. Um, last uh, last year we saw her doing three events at this championships and now she's winning that double gold in the 800 meters. In two minutes, 0104 seconds. Makaula Kanga 800 meters, Sama Puma Hadi alias Chesa, Tukamul Lomote, Casta Semenya, Sabaydenga Metal, Wahauta, Yabahajina, Lost Run, Tunga Mamma Bedi Metal, Wasilvera, Anushka Nai, Tunki, the Jalama Mabraro, Atamata Metal, Wapron. And on that gloriously golden note, it's a wrap from the 2017 ASA National Track and Field Championships right here in Port of Strom. And the team down at SABC Sports and Port of Strom, thank you very much for entertaining us, bringing us the live action throughout the past few days. And that's a wrap from us as well, Sports Live at SABC.